What's up, Internet? Matt Guff from thehouse.com. Psych. He wishes. Stillman here. We're talking binding customization. So you just bought your brand new Rome bindings. Congrats. Welcome to the family. Remember to register your warranty. Link below. So, what I would advise you to do is take a minute, grab your boot, plural, and we're gonna go ahead and plunk those into your bindings and just make sure that we have your straps um, in the sweet spot. And you know, that's the first step of customization here is just making sure you obviously have the right size of bindings to boots and then adjusting your straps from there. So the best thing to do is loosen up this little piece right here on your ankle strap open up your auto strap fully, and we're just gonna slide this around until we are basically centered on the boot, and we're gonna slide it in. And you know, depending what you want in a boot fit binding, a binding boot fit, um, you can slide it in really tight or really loose, and then close that up, and then just you know, make sure you're still centered as you crank down a few notches. Now some riders like to really crank it down, obviously you'll slide that back a little further. If you want it loose, don't feel like you have to crank it down. And same thing goes here on the toe strap. We're gonna open up this lever right here. And we're gonna find the center of that toe strap on the boot. So you're about, you know, six to eight clicks on your toe ladder there. Crank it down, hinge it closed, crank away. So that's the first step in getting the ultimate, you know, response out of your binding boot setup. Adjust those straps. All right, so you got your straps in order. Now the next thing I would encourage you to do is check out your forward lean adjustment or your FLA. So all bindings on the high back will have a forward lean adjuster. And the key here is you're gonna wanna know your riding style and what you're looking for in a binding. So you'll just pinch this open and now you can see we have a full array of movement if you wanna have you know maximum forward lean, put it here at the bottom. And so this is all about the most responsive setup possible. As you can see that angle is pretty damn serious. A lot of pipe riders, people who want to keep a little bend in their knees are going to be down here. You know, people who want a little bit more playful of a feel are probably going to be up top there. We don't all need forward lean in our bindings, but if you want it, it's there. And it is at the tip of your fingers. The jerk. So here we have one of the most interesting and unique features on our bindings, the pivot mount. Max and the pivot mount. So this is a really cool innovation that we came up with about four years ago. And the idea here is being able to adjust the position of your ankle strap. So with the pivot mount max, you have eight different positions on each side. So technically 64 different permutations of ankle strap placement. And with the pivot mount regular, you have four different permutations. So, um, you know, four times four is 16. You have 16 different configurations as to how you can position this strap. And the idea behind both of them is that customization as far as where the strap sits on your boot is absolutely paramount to giving you the absolute best ride possible. All right, so the goal of the pivot mount here is to give you maximum flexibility as to the positioning of the ankle strap on your boot. As you can see here, I have it as loose as possible just to demonstrate all the different positions. So this is actually set back as to where it would normally be. And this is gonna give you a really, really snug fit feel. If we go forward like this, now imagine that the ankle strap is all the way at the top region of your ankle. So this is gonna be the most powerful option possible. Now, bear with me a bit further. We come down here, this is the lowest this could possibly sit on your boot. So this is gonna be a much more loose skate style feel here. And as I said, you can kind of drop it down. So when you drop it down below the normal positioning, this is gonna be a really, really powerful orientation of the ankle strap. And because we have them on both sides, as you can imagine, this gives you an array of asymmetrical options. So right now I have it as low as possible on the uh, medial side and as high as possible on the lateral side. So just, you know, this is how we get to those 64 different permutations. And this is really designed to give you, the rider, the option to see what is the best position for the ankle strap on your boot as it relates to the way you ride. All right, so let's say you didn't have the best out of the box fit. We're gonna quickly go over some sizing adjustments you can make on the ASIM wrap platform. So we're gonna take our footbed out, get that out of there. 
and you have three screws you need to adjust. Screw one, screw two, and screw three. So we'll start by just getting this one out of here fully. And then we're going to loosen up these guys. And as you can see, now I can slide this to and fro. All obviously a little bit bigger and smaller. Now the caveat here is that you need to keep an eye out for this piece on the bottom here, because this bracket can go to the front and the back. So be mindful you need to adjust this from the bottom. And you're gonna find whatever size you need, make sure that's adjusted, screw it back in, and then go back about your business. Remember, always tighten all your screws, always. All right, so same story, adjusting the sizing of your full wrap bindings. First thing we're gonna do is undo the screw on your base pad, get that out of here. And you're looking at one, two, three, and four screws that you need to loosen up. I have taken the liberty of pre-loosening said screws. Look at me go. And then we're gonna be able to slide freely. So this will be your larger size and then slink it back in there if you wanna get a little bit smaller. So again, just making sure that fits your boot correctly. And same storyline here, there is a little bracket on the bottom that you wanna be mindful of as this can slide to and fro, whether it is larger or smaller. So find that size, line everything up, screw it back in, always tighten your screws, and then pop this bad boy back on. One more screw, and then you are shred ready. Alrighty, so now we're gonna talk about how to get the most out of your high back. And one of the things that we really pride ourselves on, we feature in almost every one of our bindings, is high back rotation. And the idea there being is getting the maximum amount of energy transfer, all of the power generated from your riding into your bindings. So the idea here is by loosening up point A and point B, you are able to adjust the actual angle at which your high back sits. And the idea here is to have it mirror your heel side edge as to maximize power. And in order to do that, you just keep those loose, mount to your binding on your board, and then find which setting is the closest to your heel side edge. So as you can see, this is our out of the box configuration. That high back is you know, mirroring the angle of the under wrap here. And I'll just go ahead and adjust that and show you what rotation really looks like. And so as you can see, now I have rotated the high back and it is much more angled in a parallel manner to my heel side edge here. And like I say, all about power transfer, maximum energy going from point A to point B, and point C is, you guessed it, the hill. Let's go. All right, so that is your customization overview from the Rome Binding Crew. We believe customization is paramount to making the best days on hill even better. That's why we make the most customizable bindings in the market. So, any other questions, drop them below. Otherwise, we'll see you on the hill. Thanks for watching.